I just really felt the urge to talk about one of the most compassionate, loving, caring, genuine rescue stories I think I've ever seen. Like you could basically call this guy the Mother Teresa of animals. Beautiful, beautiful, genuine, legendary, kind-hearted animal lover, this guy. Let's have a look. Last week, someone fetched the sheep in for slaughter. Well, must be rescuing animals, eh? I checked it out and I said, I weren't gonna kill it because I could see she were in lamb. So I bought the sheep off the owner. He didn't want any more, he didn't want responsibility. Ah! So given birth to beautiful boy lamb. You can see the, the compassion just oozing out of him. We've named it Lucky. Named it Lucky too. Named it Lucky, it. We've named the mum Irish. It's escaped death yesterday. Realistically, it should have been a, a lamb chopping hung on someone's plate this morning, but it's reprieved. Well, this guy must be dabbling in a bit of animal rights activism, like rescuing lambs, rescuing mothers from slaughter. Like, wouldn't want to see animals slaughtered on a plate, would he? That's what he sounds like, eh? It's got a beautiful boy lamb, it's mum. It's probably gonna stay with us for the next five or six years now, because she's gonna become a, a mum every year now. How's she gonna become a mum every year? What do you mean? What, what's going on here? Here at Slack is, we're not just about all killing lambs and murderers. Here at Slackies, we're not about killing, all about killing lambs and murderers. We do have a heart. We do have a heart. We have got a heart. We have see. got a heart. Wait, wait a second. Are you trying to hoodwink us here, mate? You trying to hoodwink us with a nice little story here? We have got a heart, as you can see by this one story right here. Mum's a bit unsure about us being around it, so we'll leave it alone now to settle down. You're going to leave it alone, are you? And what is actual Slackies? Let's have a little look. Oh, wow. Slackies is a slaughterhouse and a butcher. Wow. I almost thought you were an animal rescue service, but no, you just chop up their bodies and sell them. Then we're fighting with legs of lamb. Local lamb. British lamb. Barista. And here he is holding the rescued lamb next to a fridge full of chopped up body parts of the lamb's, probably the lamb's family members. Back in British farming again. Back British farming. Quick look round counter. Come on, Snowy. Oh, this one's Snowy. Is this a different one? I thought this was Lucky. Beef burgers, minty lamb burgers, pork and apple burgers and sausages. Pork chops, rind on. Wow, pork chops. Look at this love for animals this guy has. Wow, stuck a knife in all those animals' throats, did you? Showing them some of that British farming love. Look at them beauties. Look how fat they are. I think you just love the flesh in your mouth. That's all you love. These ones, and Snowy's cousin. Wow, Snowy's cousin's chopped up in a fridge. You really do care for these lambs, eh? You are genuinely the animal saviour, mate. She told me earlier that her desire in life, when she grows up, she wants to be just like her cousin and end up like... A lamb chop. That's sadistic, sickening. Imagine if he had a baby human in his hand and a chopped up human in a fridge and was going, you know what? When you grow up, you're going to get chopped up just like your cousin. Like, you would think they were Jeffrey Dahmer, but the human race is so schizophrenic when it comes to morality. This guy can stand there with a baby lamb in his hand and make jokes about the lamb being chopped up in the future like their family member. And this guy's so delusional, he thinks he actually cares about animals because he doesn't murder one every 10 years. Keep growing, keep getting fatter, and you will end up like a lamb chop too. Could you imagine Hannibal Lecter going, look, I didn't cut his head off and eat his brains. And then you look behind Hannibal and there's just like a graveyard of thousands and thousands of humans that he's just cut up. And he's like, what? I'm not always a murderer. Look, 0.0001% of the year, I don't murder a child. This one's Eric. Oh, well, now he's got another one here. We're multitasking a minute. Oh, wow, look, look at him. Bottle feeding Eric like a true animal lover he is. We've got a bottle feed lamb bow butcher at the same time. It's weird, usually you don't have a bottle in your hand, usually you have an electrode where you're tutoring people on how to execute lambs, like in this video. Get the songs, literally, over here, bang, you kill on impact. Creates an electronic magnet between the two ears and the brain, kills them stone dead straight away. So everything here is about animal welfare, we don't like to see animals stress. A bit of an hypocrite, but I hate to see animals suffering, I hate to see animals stress, so we try and make it as quick as we can in this place. But that is what... British lamb is about, that is what local lamb is about. All about animal welfare. And then he has the audacity to say he's all about animal welfare. I'm a bit of a hypocrite, but I'm all about animal welfare, mate. Well, I didn't think welfare included electrocuting animals in the skull to death. Get you sent to a local reputable butcher by British, by the best. All right, mate, we've seen some local slaughterhouses, mate, and they ain't no better, right? And these animals have all had their rights violated, their right to life violated, and they've been chopped up into pieces, okay? Local does not mean anything. Just because something is local to you, it doesn't absolve you of the moral crime of chopping off an animal's head. Lamb chops, Donny chops, distant relation to this pet lamb here. He loves to make fun of murdered animals, doesn't he? He loves to mock these baby animals with their chopped up family members in the fridge next to him. He just loves it. He's sick. He gets a, 
It's like he gets some kind of sick pleasure out of it. It's all about the love this weekend. It's all about the ribs of beef. It's all about the pet lambs, the hungry ones that need feeding. It's all about the love. Mate, if that's the kind of love you've got to offer, we don't want any. So there we go. This guy here is the epitome of love. He's the absolute epitome of animal welfare, the face of animal welfare. See, looking after animals before you murder them and chop them up and put them in a fridge, bottle feeding baby lambs, making fun of their murdered family members. That there is the psychotic, twisted face of British farming.